What's up fellas and today I'll be showing you how to get the hacking device for the new Dying Light expansion pack the following. This is going to be a painful one fellas because if you remember from the main Dying Light campaign, two lads called Tolga and Fatin, they give you some quests. So for the first step in getting to the hacking device, you have to complete all of Tolga and Fatin's missions in the main campaign of Dying Light. If you have done them that's class, but bear with me because the last two missions are really hard to find so now I'm going to show you quickly where to find those quests. So after you have searched the warehouse for hooks and done all that shit, you will hear Tolga and Fatin contact you over the radio. You then have to go to the fisherman's village, which is under the bridge as you can see on the map. Go talk to them and complete the mission. Now you have done that quest, you can move on to the next one. But if you don't know how to get onto this side of the bridge, all you do is climb up that side and either zip line down or walk down the poles that are connecting to this bridge. Now the next quest will unlock when you reach the location of the antennae. So if you've already completed the story, you will be fine. So after you've completed the bridge quest, while you're walking about Haran, you will get a radio call from someone called Vulcan Dal. And all he's saying is reach the location with the antennae. This place is pretty tough to get to, so I'll show you how to get there. So firstly, get to Old Town and go onto your map. Go to the top of the map and head to this spot to enter the sewers. Right fellas, now you're in the sewers, look at the map and as you can see, this is where we are. And if you go to the top of the map, this is where you want to be. And this is where Vulcan Dal is. So, how do you get there? Good question. The best thing to do is to get to this door where you can enter the slums. Now, turn around and make a right. And all you do is head through these tunnels. Go through the doors at the end of each of the tunnels, keep heading forward and eventually you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. And as we look at the map, you can see that we are much closer to Vulcan Dal. So all you do now is just head down to the coast, follow the beach round until you find a cave. Head into the cave and inside will be Vulcan Dal and also the two twins. All you do is talk to Vulcan, push the submarine into the water, let them free have some banter and that is the quest done. And also that is all the Tolga and Fatin quests done in the main campaign of Dying Light. But guess what? Tolga and Fatin are back in the following, which means we have to complete more quests for them and then we can get the hacking device. So now we have to wait until Tolga and Fatin contact us over the radio in the following. And just to help you fellas out even more, I'm just going to show you when and where I got the call from the two lads. So I got into my game and I am 64% through the following if that helps in any way. And I went into my quest menu and I had this quest from Bilal called Power to the People. This lad is based at the gas station which you come across in the main story. And so I went to the gas station and talked to him. And now he will give you a mission. And for this mission, all you got to do is get to the top and get an insulator. And when you pick it up, you will have to go meet Ali at the power plant. So get in your buggy and head over there. But on my route to the power plant, I got a call on the radio. And it was tall and fine. And I got this call as soon as I reached this downed plane, which I think is part of the story for Tolga and Fatin. So I don't know if you have to do all this Bilal shit, or you can just go to that downed plane and wait for the call. And so, when they stop talking to you on the radio, go into your quests, and you will see a quest called Crash Boom Bang. So now, go find the twins, talk to them, and go locate Mr. Vulcan. And when you have located Mr. Vulcan, you will hear the twins on the radio screaming. Now go onto your map and head to this part of the map. And all you do is defeat all the enemies on the bridge and find the lads in a container. Talk to them and they will give you another quest straight away. So while you're driving about out of nowhere, you will hear the lads contact you over the radio again. And then when they stop talking, head into your quests. And this quest is called Secret Project. Go meet up with them, talk to them, and they will say you have to give them time. So give them time. And do the same thing again where you wait until they contact you over the radio. When they contact you, you will have to bring them 12 fuel. And you can find fuel from gas stations or from abandoned vehicles. So when you've got the fuel, head back to Tolga and Fatin and give them the fuel. And then when they stop chatting shit, they won't give you another quest straight away. So it's that time again. Just go do other stuff until you hear the lads on the radio. But this time when they contact you again, it is the last time and the last quest, which is class. So after they have talked to you on the radio, start the quest called Rocket Wagon. So now go get the fuel from the plane, bring it back to the lads, talk to them and now move back and watch the made shift rocket fly. Three, two, one, ignition. So yeah, them two are dead, but who cares? Now we have the hacking device, get in. So what you do now is go pick your hacking device up. And now when you come across these red boxes, you can open them up. And I think you can also hear a beeping noise like a metal detector when you're getting close to one of these boxes. So there you go fellas, that is how to get the hacking device. 
It takes a long time to get, but it's definitely worth it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and go check out our other Dying Light the following videos. And I'll see you in the next one.